So a number of dragon weapons had their special attacks updated this week, and I spent a full day testing them out. Melee wasn't the best style before this point, but it now has a ton more firepower and a lot more utility too. For starters, the Dragon Claws had their maximum damage increased to 600%, which is a lot more in line with the adrenaline cost. Because it hits four times, you don't run into too many hit cap issues, and these things are insanely strong. What you're watching right now is me clearing phase 7 of Zamorak in literally three seconds with them. And the story wasn't terribly different everywhere else I brought them, including Vindicta, where I cruised to an 11 second kill just basically spamming the special. A few years ago, I made a video covering the coveted Araxor solo skip, and I showcased 10 plus hours of attempts to get a single one. With all the recent power creep, and especially with these dragon claws, you can get a solo skip literally every single time. It isn't even RNG anymore. This last one, I had my bladed dive Excalibur on by accident. This thing doesn't even have perks on it, and it's tier 70, and we still got the skip. The main negative of claws is the adrenaline cost. They're only really spammable if you're under the effects of the Meteor Strike crit buff, and you have good crit chance too. If you don't have both those things, you might have better luck with a Dragon Longsword, as the special attack only costs 25% adrenaline. It's a cool one, because the special attack does a ton of damage, and it's one of the first weapons in the game to feature a raised hit cap on the special, so you can go above the usual 12,000 or 15,000 or 19,500 damage hit cap. A number of the dragon weapons were also given really cool niche effects that are all very meaningful and really fun too. The dragon scimitar gives slash weapons a 25% increased chance to hit for 60 seconds, but unlike any other accuracy buff, it's applied to your character instead of your target. This means you can do it on a dummy before a boss fight and not have to worry about splashing at all, and you can also use it for Slayer. It's extremely good, and I have a feeling a lot of people are going to use it in a lot of niche places. The Dragon Axe also had its special attack cost reduced to 30% as well, which makes it a very good budget Stadius Warhammer alternative that applies to your target, boosting the hit chance of your entire team. The last weapon I really wanted to showcase is the Dragon 2H special. It now has a strong 5x5 area of effect slam attack that costs 50% adrenaline and does an absolute ton of damage. If you cast it with a scythe, it becomes a 7x7. For melee slayer and a number of bosses, this thing is an absolute must bring. I was even able to clear all the melee rise of the six brothers in a couple seconds with it, and even though that's not an advisable place to use it, the proof of concept is there. This thing is going to be absolutely meta for melee slayer. Overall, I really enjoyed this update. You can tell every special had a lot of thought put into it, and although flawed, Melee is starting to really catch up to the other styles. I was also sent this clip of Mod Ramen and I, and I think it's pretty funny in retrospect, so let's end off with that. How do you feel about the phrase that, or the idea that EOFs were a mistake? Ah, I disagree. Um, I, there are elements I disagree with. I disagree with the idea that now every special attack needs to be relevant. I think that ideology needs to go. Um, that's like saying, hey, my Dragon Long is, is you know, it's, the spec was good back in the day, so it needs, it needs to, be to good still now. be good now. No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. The topic of keeping old content relevant is fascinating to me. It's obviously very polarizing among the players and apparently the devs as well. This update was done by Mod Sponge during Game Jam. And prior to today, I agreed with what Mod Ramen said in the clip that you can't possibly keep every single weapon in the game relevant. But honestly, this update really proved me wrong. Mod Sponge just rolled out eight meaningful, purposeful weapon specials in a single update. They're creative, they're fun, and it's exactly the kind of thing that RuneScape needs right now.